It is a full-blown war in today's episode. Welcome back, fellow Clashers, or if it is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by Clash of Clans Attacks. Yes, today it is time for an all-out Hog Rider War. You might have seen the earlier accompanying promotional video, Ride with Hog Rider. This is the full-length version, a clan war between Full Attack and Play Hard 2, where we used only Hog Riders. And right here, we are watching Claudia's attack, and right there, double big bomb. She sacrifices a few Hog Riders. She was not the first player to attack this base. And now this war and this video kind of different because yes, we are employing some basic hog rider strategy, but things are made much more difficult by the effect that we were not allowed to train anything but hog riders. Now we did make the rule, and this is just a rule we imposed on ourselves, that we could bring whatever we wanted in the clan castle. You can bring your heroes whatever spells you want. And so you can see here in the beginning of this attack, Claudia facing off with the defending clan castle, and her dragon emerges victorious. Her king is down though, and now I love this hog deployment. Kind of like a selective hog deployment. She's just dropped a few, and notice it's just the right number to get through most of those structures. The archer towers don't quite go. Now here comes the big main packs of hogs. Watch out for that big gap in the center. Will it be two more giant bombs? Not quite. Those were some smaller bombs there. It looked like some of the hogs survived, but you knew that was going to happen. Now she's taken out a lot of these defensive structures at the bottom of the village already, so a big advantage for this attack. You can see the dragon is still up, starting to do cleanup, and that is really what the main issue with these attacks was, was the fact that we did not have cleanup troops. We weren't bringing archers and wizards like you probably normally would to take care of those outer structures. So at this point, there is not going to be a single defensive structure left after that archer tower goes down. So the hogs can turn, take out the skeleton traps, get rid of the defending barbarian king, and then it simply becomes a race against the clock. Can Claudia's remaining hogs get through all of these other structures in the time that remains to get that three star? And as you can see, we're gonna speed this up. The hogs are gonna work their way through the rest of the structures, eventually splitting up a little bit, and that helps the efficiency. And before time runs out, Claudia wraps up a three star war win for full attack. Now this clan is a Town Hall 8 only clan, but we've been around for a long time, so we have a few guys that have promoted to Town Hall 9, including BKSB, and you can see here 44 Hog Riders, the Barbarian King, the Archer Queen, and four heal spells going after this uh, Southern Teaser sort of style Town Hall 9. And once again, BKSB moving in with the selective hog rider deployment. I love this strategy. Look at the wizard towers go down, the archer towers go down, the air defense, the air sweeper, and quickly every single defensive structure at the top end of this base is out of the picture. And now those hog riders move in towards the center and act as a lure to activate that clan castle that was very deeply set. And then just a couple of hog riders from the bottom of the screen trying to trigger those big bombs that could be in those gaps. And and then I love this strategy. A golem comes out of the clan castle, the king and the queen, luring the clan castle troops over and the defending archer queen as well. Another big no-no for hog rider attacks. Gotta get that archer queen out of the way. Now they are all gone and BKSB again with some selective hog rider deployment, dropping just a few more from the right hand side and they will very effectively take out a few more defensive structures. 26 hog riders remain to be deployed. You can see we've still got hog riders moving in and now here comes the final group of hog riders from the left hand side of your screen. He's got all four heal spells remaining. There goes the first of four heal spells. The last of the hog riders moving in just in case there was another big bomb there deploying a few at a time and now they are just gonna have their way with this base. There is a big bomb in the center but that heal spell helps them recover before they get to the second big bomb. Again the heal spell bringing those hog riders back up to full health and before you know it the last of the defensive structures go down the hogs can turn to the town hall the town hall is going to be out of the way there's an extra heal spell and the town hall goes down for the second star the defending king goes down as well and once again a race against the clock that bksb will surely win as the many remaining hogs actually split up really effectively leaving no question as to whether or not BKSB was going to wrap up this attack with three stars. The last of the structures going down, 
onto the laboratory. There it goes, the Hogs and the Barbarians finishing it off, and that is another three-star victory for full attack. So moving on, now we have Michael, and he went in with his full Hog Riders. That is right, he's a Town Hall 8, so he brought 40 and 3 heal spells, and he's going after a Town Hall 8 that did not have any 4x2 gaps, but you can see there are a lot of spaces where there could be two giant bombs that are relatively close to each other. So trying to trigger those, got to make sure that you've got those areas covered with heal spells. But once again, Michael using a couple of extra Hogs, they're a little bit of an expensive way to lure out those Clan Castle troops but again we did not allow ourselves to train anything but hog riders so instead of archers you've got to use hogs to try to draw those troops out a bunch of wizards come out of the clan castle great job by those upgraded wizards because yes we are a level five clan and now here come the hog riders it's the old two finger drop from the right hand side two big streams of hog riders moving in and michael starting with those heal spells putting one down there's a second making sure those hogs stay up as they move through all of those Teslas, mortars, and air defenses right smack in the middle of this base. And really, if they can get around that without going down, we should be okay. Time for another heal spell. There it is, just in the nick of time as that giant bomb goes off. And there are the hog riders moving around, taking out the last of the defensive structures, just a couple of archer towers and a cannon remain. And once again, as that last defensive structure goes down, the hogs will finally be able to turn around and take care of those Pesky skeletons and that Barbarian King, there they go, and this time you've got the wizards who survived from that clan castle takeout. They're working their way around the outside, and unfortunately the hog riders moving towards the outside as well, so suddenly we've got a time crush on our hands. Michael running short on time, you've got those remaining structures on the inside. The hogs look like they're going to go all the way around the outside with the wizards in tow before they head towards the clan castle and the town hall. Michael very short on time now, only about 20 seconds remain. Can those units get to the center? Now finally a few hogs peel off and go towards the center and that probably made the difference because time was running out and this attack ends. Michael wraps up another three star win. And for our next replay, it is time for Galidon to step up to the plate and conduct a live 40 hog rider attack in this clan war and here is the result. Uh, okay, this is just for fun. Don't be nervous. All right, so we are going after this base, uh, number 13. It looks like a pretty good design for me. Doesn't look like we're going to worry about any double giant bombs. There are some gaps we're going to try to clear. Uh, first one right here, top right. Tesla, okay, triggering the clan castle down here. Another one, okay, another Tesla, maybe another hog. Okay, there we go. Big bomb goes off. And now from the far right, we are going to drop the Barbarian King. Let those wizards come on out, get my clan castle ready, and then put the clan castle down. And there we go. Okay, so the dragon's going to go to work. And now, hog riders from the right-hand side, let's go. Everybody moving in in two big streams. And we're ready, okay, with the uh, heal spells. We're going to put the uh, first heal spell down up here. And then the second one down here. And then, oh, the iron fist, iron fist. Okay, go iron fist. There we go. Moving through the base, looking pretty good so far. The, the wizard's still up. The king's still barely up. Go Hog Riders, time for the third heal spell. All right, so now it is out of our hands. It is just a, oh, big mom, oh man, it did not quite finish those guys off. How many do I have left? That looks like a pretty big pack. There is the first star for 50%, but it's three stars or nothing, guys, come on. Oh man, those Hog Riders, a lot of them are extremely low in health. I'm hoping I've triggered all the big bombs. It looks like we might be okay, 72% damage. Look at the health on the king. He is just about down. The hogs working their way through. The, the dragon didn't have a lot of health left either. And now here we go back towards the center, headed for the town hall so we won't get a 99% one star. There goes the town hall any second now. There it is for the second star. And it's looking good. We've got plenty of time left on the clock. We can breathe a sigh of relief as the massive... Look at all those hogs that survived. Yay, hogs! Get in there, finish off that last structure. There it is. Perfection at its best. Three stars, 40 hog riders. Whew. 
So there it is, all in good fun. We did lose the war, but we had fun doing it anyway. Hogs or die, or in some cases, hogs and die. But thanks again for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode as much as we enjoyed carrying out those crazy hog rider attacks. Don't forget to watch my other episodes. Subscribe for daily Clash of Clans uploads. Let me know what you guys want out of future episodes, and I will see you again tomorrow with more full attacks. Galidon. What, Peter? Let's hear you say it. Oh. Just once. Fine. Come on. Hog Rider! Rust in place, headphone users. Hey, you asked me to. Silly Galidon.